Okay, welcome back guys. In this video, let us see what are the different things that we need to start building our building our Angular application. Now the first thing you have to do is download and install Node. Now Node comes with a tool called NPM or Node Package Manager and this tool is basically required to install all the dependencies or modules and start our server and so on. So go ahead and download and install the appropriate version of Node for your machine and that should also install NPM for you. The next thing we need is an IDE or a text editor. Now for this video series I am going to be making use of Visual Studio Code which I found very helpful but feel free to use WebStorm or Atom or Sublime or even Notepad++. Anything of your choice to be honest. All right, now for some good news and some bad news. The, mad, the bad news is that even the simplest of Angular applications require a lot of files and configuration. It is not like an HTML, uh, HTML file where you save a file with .html extension and you're good to go, no. But the good news is that I have all the required files in my GitHub repo so that you can download and get started. And the link is going to be in the description so go ahead and download it and you're going to have a template folder with you now the last thing to do is install all the dependencies for our application so navigate within the template folder and open git or get, uh, you can use command prompt or git bash now type npm install now this is going to install all the dependencies and the directory structure will be complete. Now this is going to be quite time consuming. So I'm going to end this video right here so that I don't have to take you through the entire installation. But if you are done with no NPM errors, I think you should be good to go. So in the next video, let us understand the directory structure and begin with our hello world application so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video